Hey folks, it's Rob from Rob's Movie Collection, and I've got a little art project to share with you guys here. I was in uh, Walmart last night uh, in the toy section doing a little early Christmas shopping for my nephew, and I came across these little uh, metal figures, figurines, whatever you want to call them. Uh, they had uh, DC ones, they had uh, Marvel ones, the Avengers, they had Harry Potter, Lord of the Rings, a bunch of other stuff, Disney. Uh... But I was looking at these, and they're and they're pretty cheap. They're like ninety seven cents, you know, for these individual ones. And they've also got these little packs of like five or six, and then bigger packs. Uh, and uh, but they're pretty cheap, so I thought I'd I'd get some of them. Now I got, uh, from what I can tell, a lot I've seen so far is they've got the the ones from the new fifty two, which I didn't really care for much, and the reborn, the DC reborn thing that they're doing now. So uh, first of all, over here I've got the Flash. And uh, see if we can focus in a little bit there. Okay. So uh, the Flash pretty much, now I'm talking costume-wise here, not personality or anything, but costume-wise, the Flash pretty much made the transition to the New 52 more or less intact. I mean, his costume had some extra lines on it uh, that you can't really see here anyway. So this guy pretty much looks like the Flash I've always known. So uh, that's pretty good. I was okay with that. Uh, then you got Aquaman. And Aquaman also made the transition. Here you can see it's the new 52 Aquaman. And he also made the transition pretty well. Uh, this, is to me, is Aquaman. Not, uh, this is the way he's supposed to look like. Not, it's not the Justice League guy that's going to be coming up. But uh, I like that. And then uh, for Wonder Woman, we actually have the, the Reborn version. You can see it right here is the difference. Uh, Wonder Woman is, uh, you know, she's it looks a little bit different there. But I don't dislike this version of the costume, of course, Wonder Woman these days they they tend to focus a lot about on the warrior aspect and uh, the oops, little focus there and the shield and sword and all that sort of thing. So uh, losing focus, Wonder Woman, come on, Diana. There we go. But uh, but the colors are pretty much there the way they they have been. It's not the classic outfit that I know, but the colors are pretty much there. You got the red on top and the blue in the middle, and then of course the boots are uh, more thigh-high here, and they don't have that white stripe, but still, for the most part, and they gave her a cape. Uh, it doesn't have the yellow on top, although it 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 should have, or the gold, I should say, at the top. It, I think it's just one of those things in the production of these. They make so many of them that they just the paint didn't kind of got away from them, but I can fix that. That's easy enough. Uh, and then over here, we've got Green Lantern, and Green Lantern is also from the New 52. But he made, uh, he pretty much looks the way he always looked, uh, even before the New 52. And uh, personality wise is, is a different story, but here we're just judging the, the visual of it. And he pretty much looks the way he always looked. Uh, so it wasn't that different. But the focus of my little art project, of course, you might have guessed, is this guy, yes, Superman. And this is the Superman from the uh, Reborn era that they're doing now. Still haven't gotten to the trunks yet. Still haven't given the trunks. Uh, you know, when I first saw this guy like this in the New 52 comics and in the, especially in the Zack Snyder film, my first reaction was, hey, that's Ultraman. That is Superman's evil doppelganger from Earth 3, leader of the crime syndicate. I mean, that's his costume. <laughs> I'm not sure why nobody else saw this, or maybe somebody did, but certainly not the writers of the movies or the comics of the New 52. Uh, so to me, that was evil Superman. Uh, so anyway, uh, I thought I would do a little, uh, little bit of a art project. Really, it's more of a restoration project and, uh, just kind of a little quickie here to show you. So it's pretty simple to me here. Little focus there. There we go. Um, yeah, now I could, I'm not using metallic paint. But uh, I could have used it, but I figure, well, this isn't going to take that much paint, so I'm not going to buy it. But what I am using are these uh, acrylic glossies from Liquitex. They're actually called glossies. Uh, and they're used for painting on uh, glassware and ceramics and that sort of thing. So, See, he's already coming together. He's already becoming the soups that we know. Dun, dun, dun. And 
so on and so on. The last son of Krypton is appearing. Okay, there you go. Superman, Man of Steel, the real Man of Steel. I don't. I'm not sure why the artists and the costume designers of the movies can't seem to get this. I mean, it's art 101. I mean, you know, the primary colors and uh, the red trunks uh, break up the blue, which is way too much on its own. Uh, it's a nicely balanced costume and the red boots and all that. I mean, I don't know. It seems simple to me. It's what I've always liked about the character. He's been consistent, uh, certainly in the way he is and uh, his uh, his desire to do right. And the costume was part of that. So I don't know. I don't get it. But anyway, since these uh, little figures are so cheap, like 97 cents, like I said, uh, I got myself an extra one and I made him a Ultraman as well. So we got a little Ultraman there with his U, and that's the way the, the costume for Ultraman looks. So, uh, yeah, we got uh, both of them there. So there you go. That's my little geek uh, geek fest, geeking out about uh, Superman. Um, proving that I really need to get out more. So, anyway. <laughs> okay. I will see you guys next time.